Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing, um, what do you call it? The No Mirror Makeup Challenge. And I was, um, asked to do this by Mayra Touch of Glam, and I believe she's going to do it too. And she said that, um, we should do it with everything including fake eyelashes so this is gonna be such a challenge yeah I'm really excited and if you can't tell I got new bulbs for my lamps in their hydra gojin or I don't forget what they're called but they start with H's <laughs> and they're supposed to be lighting used for videos and it won't show that it's supposed to be brighter and so it won't show that um orangey tint to it. Hopefully it'll work so then I don't have to go buy like really expensive ones but we'll see. <laughs> First of all update 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 you just like Nicole you didn't tell us yet you dyed your hair yes I did again <laughs> and this time it held yay it was supposed to be like a medium brown cuz I got the Clairol stuff um yeah, Clairol, it's just the, the regular kind, and it's medium, medium, like, brunette, or brown, or whatever it is. And, yeah, so this was supposed to be medium brown. It turned out with a reddish tint to it, but I actually like the reddish tint a lot. Nicole, you dyed your hair! I was like, yes, I did. And they're just like, I really like it. Where'd you go? I'm just like, I did it myself. Yes, I did. This is going to be a talking one so then you can actually see that how stupid I mean <laughs> like I think everything will go smoothly except for um my eyeliner it might be more of a challenge than I'm thinking so yeah I'm scared right now we're just going to hide the mirrors and I'm going to show you how I'm going to hide and yes I do have a new computer on my desk it doesn't work though half the screen is broken it's a Mac computer and I'm going to try to get that started up like the screen fixed so then I can actually do videos on there like you know what I mean I've always wanted to edit my videos on a Mac because it seems like there's a lot better whatever you call it and hopefully I'll get that set up soon but it might take a while so um, I'm going to get started let's get these mirrors done so first off you're probably just like Nicole you did something new with your makeup desk yes I did it's like totally redone <laughs> But, um, anyway, let's move this mirror here. Okay, we're just gonna throw this over there. Okay, now it's over there. Now, this other mirror. Hey, again! Over there. Now, this one we can't really throw, now can we? Yes, I did get rid of that big old black mirror there, because it just looks stupid. But, um, let's get rid of this mirror. I wonder if we can just stick it behind here. Would that work? Oh. Yes, it works. This is really awkward because I'm usually having like a mirror behind me so then I can see myself while I'm recording. So this is really, really awkward. <laughs> I mean, I don't have my mirror right there. I don't have it right there. I don't have one right here so then I can do... Oh, this is going to be so complicated. Now, my for my foundation, I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Clean Finish Foundation. <laughs> okay. This is really awkward. Oh, I need you, Mir. Come back to me. I feel so uncomfortable right now. Okay, next I'm just gonna take my favorite concealer. Oh, goodness. Okay, the super, the Maybelline New York Superstay 24 Hour Concealer. And um, I don't know where my problem areas are. I didn't look in the mirror before I looked at this. Okay, problem areas. I think one is right here. I'm gonna put it on all right here. Mouth. I think I have some on my chin. I know I have some on my forehead because I've been breaking out. This is so awkward. I hope I'm not getting any of this in my hair. Okay, hopefully now all that's blended in. Okay, good. Now I'm just gonna put it underneath my eye. Ugh. 
Okay, this is really easy to do without a mirror. And now I'm just going to blend that out using this elf powder brush. Just going to be taking my, um, sorry, Cover Your All Clean in 110 Classic Ivory. And then I'm just going to take a brush. And this is more of like a blush brush, but I use it for powder because I actually like this combination. This is just a Shani Cosmetics brush. Oh, by the way. I, I wasn't looking in the mirror, but, um, there's a mirror inside this compact. I'm sorry, I wasn't looking. I, I really wasn't. Um, <clears throat> I'll cover it now. I'm sorry. Okay, next I'm going to do my bronzer. And this is with my new bronzer. It is my Wet n Wild Croatian bronzer in Princess. And look how pretty it is. I love it. I love this. But I take the brush just because I like to contour, um, my cheeks. And this is actually probably going to be difficult to. So yeah, I'm just going to be taking this, and I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to fluff it out using blush, a brush like this. Down here. Okay, is this working, guys? And then I just take my brush, and then fluff it away. And I just fluff. I'm just going to fluff it a lot. Little amount on the chin. And on the forehead. And then just blend through there. Now that I did that, now I'm just going to take my new other favorite. This is the Wet n Wild Claration Blusher in Mellow Wine. Oh gosh, I can't get it open. Why does Wet n Wild make it so hard with people without nails to open their stuff? Um, here's the color. Looks like this, and it's so pretty. Like, it looks like really mauve and stuff, but it's actually like a really pretty color to put on your cheeks. Like, it actually gives you like a really nice blush to your cheeks. I'm gonna put that on with a simple, simple brush from e.l.f. And I'm just gonna smile. And I just tend to put it on like this. I hope I don't end up looking like a clown. Now I'm just going to take this brush because it's handy for me right now. Um, the e.l.f. professional um, brush that I just showed you. And now I'm taking the e.l.f. golden bronzer and I'm not going to look at the mirror. See? Mirror not looked at. Ouch. And I'm just going to swirl these together. And I'm going to highlight my forehead. And blend that out with my finger like I normally do. Down my nose. on my temples and on my chin and I just loaded like a ton of stuff up so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend all those okay I'm closing it now what I'm going to take is the elf eyelid primer yes I use elf because it works and I don't feel like spending 20 bucks on a primer so I did spend 50 on the Urban Decay Naked Palette, and that's where I got my primer from. And this stuff works just as good. Taking the Naked 2 Palette in from Urban Decay. Oh, mirror, 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 mirror. Yeah, we go. Hopefully. Okay, this is just a random towel from, um, yeah, over it. Anyway, I'm just gonna take Foxy. Ooh, can you guys see that? Foxy all over my lid. All over my lid, and brow bone, and... All that jazz. I don't know. You don't need to put it in your inner corner. I, this isn't really a tutorial, is it? I don't know. Is this a tutorial? <sighs> How to not do your makeup? Sounds like a tutorial to me. I'm just going to take this color. Um, this is uh, Booty Call. So, Booty Call. I think that's what my finger's pointing at. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, now I'm just going to highlight my brow bone. I hope I didn't get my, like, eye thinger, what do you call it, eye brow, because that would look weird. Then I just blend down with my finger, taking the same brush, I'm just going to pop this under the inner corner. Just the e.l.f. crease, what do you call it, crease brush? Professional blending brush, and this isn't even a blending brush, it's more like a crease brush. And what I'm going to do is take... Tease right here, 
tees and put this into the crease. I'm not sure if I've done a tutorial like this before. I'm just kind of fooling around. I'm just taking tees a little bit and popping this into the crease. There we go. That's a crease. Okay. I'm going to just blend. I don't know how much I'm supposed to blend, though, because I can't see nothing. Blend, 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 blend. I'm just going to take the same brush. And now I'm just going to take, um... Sorry, I'm trying to cover this. Um, I'm going to take Busted right here. If you guys can see this. Busted. And mirror still covered. Don't worry, people. And then I'm just gonna fluff this into the crease a little bit, but not too much. Just going like this. You can put a little on the lash line down there. Oh gosh, I wish I could see. I'm gonna close this. I'm not looking at the mirror. Trust me. Close this one up. It's gel eyeliner time. I'm just gonna dip it in here. Right off any of the excess. <laughs> what am I gonna look at? Okay. Okay, let's. I'm just gonna do a wing. Oh my god. Just let me follow this out and then I'm gonna do a wing. I'm so scared. <laughs> This is so awkward. Awkward turtle. Oops. Okay. Okay. Hopefully I did it. So hopefully I did it okay, but I probably did it. So suck. Next, I'm just going to be taking my Kiss false eyelashes with my adhesive glue and I'm so scared this is gonna end up like in the half of my eye just taking my glue I hate this it doesn't stay Ugh. okay anyway taking them ah oh, too much glue too much glue too much glue what is going on and then I'm just gonna go like this and oh I have Okay, <laughs> I tried, but hopefully I did okay. Now my other eyelash. I'm gonna try to get the glue off my hands that I just accidentally got on my hands. Okay, now I got the glue on the other one. Okay. I did it. <laughs> I hope it worked. Try to curl my eyelashes without my eyelashes falling off. So. Okay, this is so awkward. What? Where is the eyelash? There we go. Okay, it worked. Oh, awesome. Okay. No, don't fall off. No, no, no. You just, did you fall off? But I got it over my hand. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna play the mega, mega plush mascara, and this is easy because I do this in, like without a mirror all the time. Oh, I hope that's not doing anything to it. Now I'm just gonna put my lip balm on, and I do this without a mirror all the time, so. That's not very hard for me. Now, for this, this might be a little tricky. I, sh I showed this in my last tutorial, what I like to do with this concealer on my lips. This might be a little tricky, because if I get too much, it could look really weird. And 
said I'm doing this, I actually think I'm gonna get like a lipstick where I can actually tell like if I put it on right or not, you know? So here, just wait a second. How about this one? Cause it's like bright, bold red. It's like that color. It's actually really pretty. And this is by Revlon. Um, this is a Revlon Insertantly Red. And this is like the old packaging, I think. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to put this on in like little bits like this. So, just so then. This L'Oreal Paris Color Juicy Sheer Lip Gloss in Pink Panther. And I got this from, um, Makeup and Clothes 101. But she currently doesn't have her channel anymore. I don't know why. She kind of dropped off the face of the earth. So... Yeah. Oh. Now I'm going to bring back my mirrors. And I'm really scared to bring back my mirrors. I'm going to take these ones first. And I'm just going to flip them over so I can't see yet. And then take this one and cover it with my sweatshirt over here. So then I can't see it. Now let's go get this big honker. Don't look, Nicole. Don't look. Not yet. Okay, there's my mirror. Okay, I'm still not looking. I'm looking at you. Hi. Now is the final revealing face. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, half my eyelashes isn't even on. What did I do? Okay, this looks kind of like 50-ish. I like the, what do you call it? Eyeshadow doesn't look too bad. But look at what I did. <laughs> look what I did to my eye. Oh. Okay, close up, close up. This is so funny. Lipstick, I got it in the corners, look it. It looks so bad. Look at what I did to my eye. Cha. Like, look what I did down here and I was trying to wing it up. And then look what I did right there. And then lips. My face, like, my face actually looks alright. I actually, that contouring that I did, it makes it look, and then this red, pink lip, and then the, eye, like, the eyeshadow actually makes it look really 50-ish. It makes me look like I'm from a different time. I don't, <laughs> except that just looks so pathetic. I did really good, though, for what I was expecting, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> I think I might start doing, like, the 50s theme with, like, the bold lip, because it actually looks kind of cool. I like it. So, yeah, guys, um, uh, yeah, this was the No Mirror Makeup Challenge, and as you can tell, I am no expert at doing makeup without a mirror. <laughs> Yeah, guys, sorry for my squeaky chair. Sorry. Um, and, yeah, so obviously you can tell I am not a monster at the no makeup, I mean, no mere makeup challenge. So, cha. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, I hope you guys like this. And tell me if you do. And, um, don't forget to, um, comment down below and give me some requests for me to do next time so I can do like maybe like Halloween tutorials because I was thinking about doing like a mermaid one but I'm trying to figure out what I should do for that um because I like to do like um I want to do like DIYs for it too so I have like an outfit kind of picked up like the outfits and stuff um I also was thinking a cat um and other things I forget but um yeah tell me if you do and if you do just let me know whatever you want me to do so yeah <laughs> so I hope you guys like this and I'll see you next time Hi guys, okay, tell me what you want, what you really, really want, so tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'm putting this in the outer part of my eye. What is making noise?
weird. 